We're about to unveil our fourth giveaway car, and this one's really special to me. Back when I was in college, getting into fast cars, my first fast car was a 2000 Mustang GT with the turbo, the Boostang. And back then, I obsessed over this car, and I never thought I would own one in this color. And here it is, a 2004 Mustang Cobra in Mystachrome. There's only 515 of these cars made, and this one only has 24,000 miles. It was very hard to find in this good a shape. The Mystachrome paint is just wild. It has teal, green, purple, gold, and copper that all come out in the right light. And at dusk, like it is right now, it just looks amazing. You can see all the colors popping. Come on over here, let me show you how well this car has been taken care of. First of all, when we got the car, this remote right here was in a wrapper. Take a look at this brand new Ford remote from 20 years ago. And then the interior, this is something that's really wild. These cars came with Mr. Chrome centerpieces, Mr. Chrome steering wheel, and uh, everything else you've been added, the shifter boot, the shifter, and the e-brake handle have all been added on from the, the previous owner. Let me show you under the hood now. Under the hood here, not factory, upgraded 2.3 liter Whipple supercharger, all the supporting mods for that, Bassani exhaust, a whole bunch of suspension, bits just to make it the proper Cobra. Now let me show you coming around the side here. This is the other thing that I had to have when I got a Terminator Cobra, the CCW Classics. This is the wheel that has to go on this car. If you guys have seen these cars before, you know what I'm talking about. They're just the perfect look on here. We've got some brand new tires, some Archer plates on the back, makes the hookup perfect. And then let me show you the surprise. Here's all the records that came with the car. We've got the original window sticker, $36,000 to buy this car new. It's worth a little bit more now, especially with 24,000 miles on it. Now, for a little extra cost when I bought this car, the previous owner gave me a whole roll of the Mystachrome vinyl, just in case anything gets scratched or torn on the interior. You're not gonna find this anywhere else. I don't make it anymore. We have all sorts of other parts for the car, including a fuel system, pretty much everything you need to swap it over to E85. But we like it the way it is, right at 500 horsepower. Perfect power level for this car, considering what it is. So this Cobra on the CCW wheels and $15,000 could be yours. All you gotta do is go to 1320video.com. We put the link in the description below. Every dollar you spend right now is two entries to win this car. We're kicking it off right now, so start shopping. We're back down here in Mexico for some roll race action. We got about 40 to 50 cars in the parking lot tonight. We've got some really interesting cars. We got a supercharged nitrous mini over here. We've got an S2000 with a 2JZ in it. We're gonna go see if we can hop into the passenger seat, show you guys some action. What's all done to this thing? Uh, so I got upper lower, E85 with JMS, uh, ported blower, Kong ported. I got injectors, 1200, 1200cc injectors, upgraded throttle body, 105 millimeter, catch can, AFP intake, just a handful of stuff like that. Nice, man. How much power do you expect this? Uh, should be around 900. I haven't died already yet. But oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good power level. So what's done to the soup, right? I've heard it a few times, but for the people that don't know. Typical 3 liter, 7685, TH400, E85, made 1022. Nice, just over a thousand. Yep. Love it. What kind of races you got lined up tonight? Uh, a couple Evos, fast Evos, and then there's that 2JZ S2000 if you can hook. Oh yeah. And uh, twin turbo CTSV. Cool. Be fun.
prematurely the super had some coolant push out of it on that last run so we decided to play it safe and come back here and check it out he said every once in a while it pushes a little bit of coolant but uh, don't want to have an issue with the car and end up blowing it up because it's a very expensive platform <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be riding with the supercharged Mini. He may be running out of nitrous here. We're going to find out shortly. First up, we have a race with a C7 Z06 over here. I can definitely say I've never been street racing in a Mini before. <laughs> so this is a, what, what brand supercharger is this? Uh, it's a Kraftworks. How much power does it make without nitrous? Uh, off the ball, it's, I haven't dynoed it with this engine, but I would guess like 350. Okay. But it has pretty hot intake temps, so I would assume on the bottle it's probably like 500, so. Sweet. And it weighs without us in it? Uh, 2550. Nice. <laughs> that, that helps a lot. It does help. And we're all 3D three, three now. Yes, yes. So we're, I guess we're, yeah, we're adding weight. Yeah, that's not going to help anything. All right, man, we're getting in the V. We're going four deep. How much power are you rocking with to get all of us down the road? Probably like a thousand or something. Thousand? All right. 388, yeah. 388, yeah. 388 yeah. LSA heads, twin turbo. Nice. Uh, yeah. 20 pounds of boost. All right. first pull out many torque steered like crazy from like a 40 or 50 roll against the c7 blew the charge pipe off and it was literally 
five minutes into our half hour lap out here. I didn't hear you. So the road is very hot right now. We just saw three sheriffs, uh, one pulling over the vet. How'd it go? Could not have come at a worse time. No? At least he didn't ride a reckless. Take it or fix it. 165. Ooh! Yeah, I figured he got you when you flipped or try and race somebody. Yeah, I saw I saw you in the chat say false alarm, and I was like, hell yeah, jump. Yeah, he was out. on the ramp. Yeah, no way to know. He yeah. out right in the middle of the group. All right, time to go back out. Intercooler pipe is fixed. We're gonna race the black C6 and the orange Mustang right here. See how it goes. We need to get a run in. So you never know with GTRs. They all look the exact same. How much power are you roughly putting to the wheels? About 700. Okay, what kind of upgrade you got done to the car? Uh, full bolt-on E85 upgraded turbos. All right, sounds good. another race in after a couple hours. Unfortunately, the Mini's a little bit low on nitrous, so it's running a little bit slower, especially with an extra 200 pounds in the car. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for the next time we're in Mexico or at the drag strip or who knows where else. We'll see you guys next time.